Hello and welcome to Web Factory i4 SCADA. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to i4 SCADA Studio, Web Factory's SCADA project manager. We're going to create a new project from scratch and set it up with some demo signals, so let's get started. When opening i4 SCADA Studio, you'll be greeted with a Studio login window. The first option of the login window lets you select the database server which stores your Studio project. Next, you can choose the authentication method. We'll use the SQL Server Authentication for this example. I'll provide the default username and password, which was configured during installation. Now let's create a new Studio project using the database dropdown. I'll call it Getting Started. You could choose a custom database path, and also you could choose to restore an existing project, but I'll just go on with a fresh one for now. The last option is the Language Selector. I'll keep it in English. Let's log in to open this new project in Studio. The first thing you'll see when creating a new project is the default database connection dialog. Choosing Yes will make this project the default one for i 4 Studio. As you can see, our new project is empty, so we need to start with a new server. We can create one either by right-clicking on the Server List menu option or inside the Server List panel. The new server is named PC1 by default, but in order to use our demo simulated signals, we need to name it DOT. Now we can use the Browse Server option from the New Server Contextual menu to add a connector. Because we've used the DOT naming convention, we have access to the OPC simulation connector. Let's select it. We can now browse this simulation connector for our demo signals, which are available when selecting the connector in the Browse window. Now, i 4 Studio requires that all signals must live inside a signal group. Since we don't have one, let's create it here. Now we can select our demo signals and add them to our project. The signal group will be automatically created for us. We can see that the imported signals are available in the signal group we've just created. But what if we need another group for a subset of our signals? You can create it using the connector's contextual menu. Once the second group is added, we can select the signals we need to separate and using the contextual menu, we can move them to the new signal group. Now we have a subset of our signals separated in a new group for easier management. The Studio project has its signals configured, but we still can't see them in action. For this, we need to start the i 4 server and we're doing this using the Service Manager. You can see the i 4 server is not started, but before starting the server, let's open up the test center so we can see the actual signal values. We first need to set up our server communication, so let's open Manage Servers dialog and remove the default entry. We'll create a new server entry using the naming convention from Studio, the dot. Now we can browse the server and select our signals. As you can see, no values are displayed. We need to start the i 4 server to get values. In the Service Manager, either use the contextual menu or the menu bar to start the server. Once it starts, the signal values are visible in Test Center and everything works as expected. But let's make things more interesting and create a simple visualization to showcase our signals. I'll use i 4 Smart Editor, our HTML5 visualization editor. In the Smart Editor project, I'll start by adding the i4 core element, which connects the HTML visualization to the i4 SCADA server. Next, I'll add a simple value display. In its signal property, I'll input the signal available in our project. Local minute seems just fine. Next, I'll edit the label to reflect the name of our signal. It also needs to be resized, so the signal name is visible. Let's also add a more graphical element, the arc control. This one has already set the signal to local second, which is also available in our studio project, so we'll use just that. Next, let's publish the visualization. Note the URL displayed by the Publish dialog. We'll need it to access the visualization in the web browser. Upon clicking Publish, Smart Editor will deploy the visualization to IIS as an HTML website. Using the web browser, I'll access the URL listed earlier. 
So here we have our visualization, but no signal values. That is because the i4 SCADA server is stopped, so let's head in the service manager and start it. I'll just refresh the browser and our signal values are visible in the HTML visualization. Now you know how to set up a simple i4 SCADA project and use signal values in an HTML visualization. But this is just the beginning, so stay with us as we are digging deeper in the powerful WebFactory i4SCADA solution. I'll catch you in the next video.